Go away, guards. Thief! You are Damn. Get out of the You're hurting me. Oh! I'll have your head! You will not get away from me! Yeah, God favors me! You will not get away from me! Too many! How can I might pull this off. You cannot run for it. May God have mercy on you. Maybe not. Oh. I'm going to start that all over again. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. There are no scholars there. Okay, now let's see if we can do this correctly this time. I won't climb the roof this time or attack from above. Try to make my way back over there as quickly as possible. Get out of the way. Get past all of these people. Come, come. Let me show you everything I have. You want it, I've got it. Okay. Don't worry about any of this. Just get there as quickly as we can. He has found the strength the right to stand place. in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, it is our very existence. Man, how far is this? Oh, here it is. You want it? I've got it. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life. I don't you think so. In my presence? That you will need cost something? you your life! Please, someone, do something! Crap. Quickly! It's about time with all these guards around here. Okay. Not me. Now let's go talk to... I can't remember that dude's name. The dude in the Assassin's Bureau. And that way he can let us uh, start the assassination now. Sorry about that. I keep getting keep getting stopped real quick. Altair, welcome. Welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? 
A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you're ready. I think I'll do that. Thank you. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. And now I go to kill fool. And I'm almost fully synced. There he is. Shouldn't be hard to get there. Just a couple of rooftop jumps and I'll be there in no time. So this is probably the most fun part of Assassin's Creed. Uh, no, not the running, jumping, climbing trees stuff. It's the actually performing the real assassinations. Listening to the storyline, trying to follow stuff, uh, killing your target, and then escaping unscathed. Uh, well, not necessarily unscathed. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hit in the face, but uh, at least getting away without dying. Getting away with killing the guy. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. Oh, I hate these people. Stupid beggars. Get away. They're almost as persistent as those people that come up to your windows and tell you that their car broke down and they need gas money to get to the next city because their sister is having a heart attack. And You're like, wow, this is a really detailed story just for like three bucks. Okay, where is this guy? He's around here somewhere. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! You must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. You, sir, need to be taught a lesson. And I shall be your teacher. Just sneak up. I held my own. I get the far worse than you. Oops. For this. You and all your kind. 
It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece, a man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. And now I make a run for it. I mean, theoretically, I could fight off all these guards if I really, really wanted to. But, you know, I probably don't have the necessary health and the necessary weapons to do that quite yet. So, let's go run and hide for now. Oops. Now, while this bell is being rung, uh, the guards will recognize you instantly, regardless. So, you have to avoid the guards at all costs. Even if you try to hide with, uh, God, what's that called? Not with the scholars, but like, if you put your hands up and try to pretend you're a scholar, they'll, they'll see right through that, so... The only places you can hide are in hiding spots. And then pray that while you're running back to the uh, Assassin's Bureau, they don't see you. And that's what I'm going to do. In these first couple of stages, the rooftops are not guarded with anyone. So as long as you stay on the rooftop, nobody will see you. Theoretically. Every once in a while, they'll look up and they'll see you, but... Most of the time, they're not going to see you. So, this is the easiest way in the first level or two. And then later... Later, what you basically have to do is you have to run with the guards chasing you all the way to the Assassin's Bureau, then hide really close to the Assassin's Bureau, and, and hope they don't catch you when you become unhidden later. Let's see... Go this way. Oops. Uh-oh. Everybody get out of the way. Uh, invisible wall. Ah, the Assassin's Bureau is right here. Prime example. Get to the Assassin's Bureau, then hide close by. <laughs> This is exactly what I was talking about. Watch them jump off the roof. Or stumble. That works too. And that will end Assassination 1. Let's go turn in the feather. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast he probably does. To a more recent one. Now 
I should return to Al Mualim and let him know what's going down. Or go back to the real world. Maybe that's where I'm going now. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Aww. I never want to come out of that machine. You want to talk? No? Fine, then. I don't want to talk to you, either. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hmm. Oh, I can get into the computer now. Let's read your email, shall we? If you want to read these, uh, probably want to pause the video. I got a lot of flack from my Tron stuff. So I'm just going to flip through these real quick. These provide a lot of backstory. And eventually you'll get access to a couple other people's email accounts, I believe. Oops. And I think I can get into Dr. Vidic's computer, too. No. I guess not. Oh well. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. And that's why Altair sounds American. Just to Can answer y'all's questions. tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. There was more stuff on the computer I missed? Hmm. Nope. I looked at it all. I guess I'll go to bed. Continue the story. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Excellent. More killing. Shall we proceed? Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? 
You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Hmm. Well, it's obvious they haven't found the information they were looking for yet. Well, let's keep going then. <laughs>